Hi, it's Caitlin and I have a Bees Knees Lacquer Collection video for you. This is their newest launch and it's also coinciding with Black Friday, which means a sale. There's going to be 25% off the entire website, including the new collection, which I'm about to show you. The shop opens on November 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and there will be a pre-order for at least the collection until December 8th but there's obviously gonna be stuff coming back that's super limited and not pre-order. There's also gonna be Buzz Miss mystery bags. I think if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. Um, so those will be limited to one per customer and typically they include two polishes and I have the descriptions. I don't have any of the Buzz Miss polishes to show you, but I have descriptions and they all sound gorgeous. I'm just reading my notes here, but there's going to be overpours from Beetlejuice and the God and the Gumiho mystery bags. There's going to be a handful of respawns, mystery overpours from HHC, PPU, and Fandom Flakes, unreleased prototypes in a variety of finishes, and those are limited to three per person. There will also be freebies for every order. So the collection itself is inspired by Baldur's Gate 3. There are magnetics, super opaque shimmers, which probably a lot of you will like, and thermals, which is super rare for Bees Knees Lacquer. And I really, really like them. So I'm very excited to show everything to you. I will recap all the details in the description and let's get into it. We're gonna start by looking at, I've never been able to write my own future. This polish is described as a silvery pastel multi-chrome that shifts pink to gold to orange. And this polish is inspired by Shadow Heart. This one has a really beautiful formula and Bees Knees does note that it is on the sheer side. So if you'd like, you can definitely use a visible nail line blurring base coat but I am going to show it built up in three coats on my natural nail without any base coat. You'll see a tiny bit of my free edge peeking out if you really squint and look super closely. And I am topping off all my swatches with the Bees Knees Lacquer. I'm very fast quick dry top coat, which is a great top coat. And since it'll be 25% off during the sale, it's definitely worth adding a bottle to your shopping cart because it is a great top coat. This one's really pretty. There's a bit of twinkle from the shimmer. And as you can see, it also has really beautiful shifts. I really like the combination of colors in this one. And it's a very wintry, very icy shade, which I really personally quite like. Now we are looking at Mama K. And this one is inspired by Carlac. I hopefully am not disrespecting any of these fictional characters, but it's described as an English violet purple base with a glowy red to orange micro flake shimmer. Now I have never heard of an English violet purple before, but this is really pretty and extremely flattering. It's a really rich color and quite pigmented. So if you're a fan of more pigmented polishes, I don't foresee anyone needing more than two coats of Mama K. And I will note that I didn't experience any staining. Fantastic formula. And as you can see, the shimmer is a flake, so it's not super tiny. You get a kind of fiery ember look from the little flakes. It does dry a tiny bit dull. And as you can see, top coat really does smooth everything out and brings those flakes to life.
This beautiful green is called Source of My Joy and it's inspired by Lazel, maybe, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a hunter green polish with a glowy emerald microflake shimmer. Again, this is sort of like a, not quite sibling, but kind of same concept as Mama K, but of course green and with different color flakes, but essentially similar level of opacity, which is to say quite opaque in two coats. And again, the flakes here are a beautiful complement to the base color, not contrasting or too flashy, but they just add a really pretty depth to everything. And this is also a very wintry seasonal kind of polish. And I think this is a perfect execution of an emerald green like this. It's just really rich and beautiful. And this one you're not going to see a ton of color shift because the flakes are sort of similar to the base color. There's a touch of blue at extreme angles. Now we're looking at With You, I Forget My Goddess, which is inspired by Gale. Definitely can pronounce that one. It's a rich purple with silver to pink to green shimmer. This is a really interesting finish because it kind of has a metallic vibe, but it's still really shifty and not delving into frosty territory so it's just a really interesting finish and I quite like it. I especially like how opaque it is in two coats. Again another opaque shimmer which I think a lot of people will be happy about. It does dry quite shiny but of course top coat is always going to enhance the look of the polish on your nail and you are going to be quite surprised by the shifts in this polish. It's kind of Perhaps more glowy than it is shifty, but almost looks like a blue, definitely a blurple at extreme angles. This one really impressed me and I absolutely love the shade of purple. Now we're going to look at some magnetics. This one is Blade of the Frontiers inspired by Will. It's a deep blue with a silver magnetic shimmer. And this is a really fascinating magnetic. So I am applying it on my index finger here using a cat eye magnet. And now I'm using a 3D printed horseshoe style magnet. And I don't know what magnetic pigment this is, but it is ridiculously reactive, super intense, and very, very silvery. It is really fascinating to look at on the nail. So you'll see in two coats that this is definitely opaque. Honestly, it was kind of opaque in one, but I'm still going to recommend two and wow it's just really interesting i have never seen a magnetic like this i didn't experience any staining it's super pigmented and top coat just brings this to a whole other dimension yeah i've, I've really never seen anything like this i was super impressed by it and found it to be absolutely mesmerizing here on my nails
Another magnetic in the collection is I Choose the Bear, and this one is inspired by Halzen. It's a dark forest green with an orangey red magnetic multi-chrome shimmer. Just like the last polish, I will show it on my index with the Cat Eye Bar Magnet. It's a neodymium magnet. And then on my middle finger here, I will use the velvet style horseshoe kind of look. And personally, I think I prefer this one with the cat eye, but wow, the magnetic effect and the shifts in this one are so impressive. I can't wait for you to see it in its full glory because this is a really incredible, super rich and dimensional nail polish. It is really gorgeous. So again, depending on your application style, you might get away with two coats. I went in for a third just for posterity, but um, on my index finger, I was happy with it in two. You might need three, but Everyone is different with their polishing style, of course. And here you can see the different look between using the cat eye and more of a velvet effect. And of course, in this particular shot, you're just gonna see how incredibly glowy rich and shifty this nail polish is. It's so beautiful. Honestly, this is a stunning polish. And on my pinky, I did not magnetize it. So if you, you know, aren't into magnetic polishes because they can be a lot of work, it still looks beautiful even if you don't apply a magnet. And now we have I'm Not Afraid, Not of You, which is a secret magnetic. So it's inspired by Asterian, and it's a black polish with a bluish purple to red shimmer and hollow flakes. So the note here is that it's technically a magnetic polish, but the shimmer looks beautiful and magnetized as well. So you will see it again with a variety of magnet styles as well as unmagnetized and there's something about the hollow flakes that were used in this polish that are particularly sparkly. The nail polish also has this almost pearlescent sheen that's unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's really 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 beautiful and hopefully that's going to come across in my video because the way I am head over heels for this polish is kind of embarrassing. I really love it so much. So this is a bit of a sheer formulation and I will recommend three coats. And I can understand why they describe it as being technically a magnetic because the magnetic effect is not overwhelmingly strong, but I do think it's worth applying the magnet anyway in whichever style you choose because it adds an incredible dimensionality and that in combination with the hollow is totally mesmerizing. I think if you could only pick up one polish from the collection I would recommend this one but that is just me because I just am a sucker for black nail polishes and particularly anything with a black to red multi-chrome effect. So here you can just see how stunning this is. Again, I did not magnetize my pinky and you can see how pretty it still is, but it is extra special in my opinion with the magnet applied.
And now we're going to look at the Dark Urge, which is a thermal, which I find absolutely exciting because I don't really remember the last time I saw a Bees Knees Lacquer Thermal. They might have done one or two for their fandom flakies, but in regular collections, we don't see a lot of thermals. This is a black to white with scattered hollow. So one thing to note about thermals is that they do dry down pretty satiny and flat, but top coat will smooth it out. And another thing is that I don't see a lot of thermals with hollow like this, at least not this density. So it is a very unique polish in my opinion and definitely best in three coats. I think it's safe to say this one is a three coater. The other thing I will note is that the hollow is not overwhelmingly rainbowy. It definitely is sparkly. And you can see that here in the video, but it's not like a linear holographic. So it, it's scattered and a little more subtle with its twinkle. So here it is in its coldest state. I stuck my fingers in the freezer to make sure they were extra cold. And here it is transitioning to a bit of a gray in that in-between state. And this is how it appears when it's hot. So it's just a slightly grayed out white when hot. And here is the other thermal in the collection. This one's called Bow to the Emperor. Oh, sorry, Bow Before the Emperor. And it's inspired by the Emperor. It's a purple to gray thermal with a scattering of hollow flakes. Now this one has a different holographic effect. It's a little looser and they're flakes versus tinier hollow pigment. I do think this one is also best in three coats, and I really like it in its cold state. It's a really pretty eggplanty sort of purple, and I do think that the hollow flakes here lend themselves to a bit more sparkle than in the Dark Urge, so I'm glad that they used a different type of hollow in each of the thermals. It just kind of switches things up. And you'll see here on that third coat, you definitely get total opacity. It does have a bit of a jelly formulation, but it's not, not buildable. So it's definitely still buildable. Topping it off with top coat again, because the thermal pigment can be a little dull. And here it is in its coldest state. I didn't get a close up shot with my fingers warmed up, but you will see it right after this clip. This also kind of has like a trithermal effect where the middle state is a deeper gray, and then here's a lighter gray when everything gets warmed up on your hands. I do have three favorites that I just think are so, so pretty. The first one is I'm Not Afraid Not of You. I love this polish, oh my God. And the hollow is so holographic. It's super sparkly and I love that it's a magnetic, but like you don't have to magnetize it. It looks really, really good either way. So bonus marks for that. The other one is I've Never Been Able to Write My Own Future. And it's just really pretty and unique. It's very wintry and kind of Ice Queen, which I really appreciate. And I did really like With You, I Forget My Goddess because it's just a really interesting shimmer. It's very opaque, very, very glowy. Um, 
just an amazing formula. So that's another top pick for me. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. So let me know what you think of this collection. Let me know if you are scurrying to get your wish list together for the Black Friday sale. I probably will be checking some stuff out. 25% off is substantial and I haven't been swatching every single collection. So I need to get the ones that I didn't swatch because I just love Bees Knees Lacquer. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you have a great day and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.